smartphones, tablets, laptops, computers. Electronic devices are all around us. We depend on them more and more for work and for play. And new models are appearing nearly every day. But what happens to the old devices when they are replaced by the latest model? Where do they go and how are they disposed of? What impact do these devices have on climate change, our health and the air we breathe? What happens to the precious minerals and metals in these devices? Did you know that there's 100 times more gold in a ton of mobile phones than in a ton of gold-rich ore? I'm Malcolm Johnson, Deputy Secretary General of ITU, the United Nations Lead Agency for Information and Communication Technologies. We at ITU have been addressing these issues for well over 10 years now. From environmentally friendly standards for chargers and other devices, to guidelines on how to recycle rare metal components, ITU works with partners to reduce the amount of e-waste and support the transition to a circular economy. ITU's member states have committed to increasing the global e-waste recycling rate to 30% by 2023. But we cannot do this alone. All of us have a role to play in tackling the fast-growing e-waste problem. This e-waste challenge, Massive Open Online Course, MOOC, will guide you through the complexities of the e-waste challenge and the actions that policymakers, industry leaders, academics and consumers can take to address it. The world of technology is changing ever more rapidly. Internet of Things, artificial intelligence, blockchain, 5G, all these technologies will accelerate progress towards the UN Sustainable Development Goals. In fact, without them, it will be impossible to achieve these goals. So join us in our efforts to turn today's digital revolution into an environmental development revolution.